Well, Bridgie, a few superstars have left the great game of AFL this year. Jonathan Brown retired, Luke Ball retired, and our next guest retired. But I don't think the others have written a book quite yet. Our next guest is Lenny Hayes. Uh, good morning, oh, Lenny. Hello. Good morning. Yeah, uh, thanks written, for having me. You've written a book. Yeah, yeah, I had a little bit of help, but uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, it was a process that I was approached last year, and something that I probably didn't think I'd ever do, but after talking to a few people who have done them, they said, look, it's it's a really good idea, and mm. yeah, ended up going through the process and doing it this year. Well, Lenny, with a young boy playing footy, I've got a son playing footy, you are the sort of player that I would hope he would look up to, because you have just handled this game in, with the highest possible dignity, in my opinion. Thanks, Bridge. Yeah, well, I, I mean that's uh, that's that's really nice of you to say that. But look, I, I guess you're one I've... of those players that everyone loves, even if you hate Sakilda, which you know, <laughs> which is quite a quite a hard thing to do. Yeah, I think it's because I'm old and slow that people. <laughs> <are> <laughs> slow, so. You think they're feeling sorry for you, <laughs> yeah. right? Does it, are you you are regarded as Bridge said, you know, much loved to go on the AFL? Does anyone cop a whack in the book? Uh, oh, look, there's a there's a few few here and there, but you'll have to you'll have to read it, mate, to find yeah, out. Yeah, so, yeah, right. Okay. Uh, look, I guess uh, over 16 years of playing with St Kilda, there's not much that's happened. Uh, well, that that hasn't probably happened yes. in, in my time at St Kilda. So, look, yeah. I've had a number of different coaches, a few different injuries, played with some of the greats of the game. So, yeah. um, hopefully, that all comes across in the book. And lots mm. of controversy over those years in St Kilda with all the you know goings on that have happened. So, I'm sure there'll be plenty of plenty of juice in there, no doubt about it. Do you feel you're leaving St Kilda in a good spot at the moment? Do you think? I mean, all this rebuilding talk and everything. Um, it'd be great to think they can come back and you know have a good season next year? Yeah, absolutely. No, I think that the way that well, the club's gone, they've obviously um, traded away a few players to get in some good picks, and we've got some really good young players at the club, and it reminds me of when I first started at the club. We were in a similar position, and we all came through together and, yeah. and got you know very close to winning a, a grand final, so hopefully it's not too far away for this team. Well, Port Adelaide have proved, haven't they, that you cl- clubs can absolutely turn around. I mean, two years ago, when players were drafted to Port Adelaide, everyone felt sorry for them. They were going, oh, no, they've got to play for Port Adelaide. And now look at Port. Yeah, now players want to go there from yeah, other teams. Yeah. So yeah, it can happen very quickly. I mean, we're in a similar boat in 2001, 2002. I think we're on the bottom of the ladder. Two years later, we were playing off in a prelim yeah. to Port, funnily yeah. enough, and lost yeah. by a kick. So it can happen quickly, and that's what we're hoping will happen to the Saints. Now, Lady, mm. there were lots of rumours going around when you retired that uh, perhaps coaching might be where you'll end up. What, what's going to happen with that, do you think? Uh, look, I'm not going to go down the coaching path at this point. I um, Look, I've done my coaching courses and, and, and things like like that, but um, just at this stage, look, I've got a young family. I know mm. how intense coaching can be, and, mm. and whether you're an assistant or development, it's very time consuming. And I think it's one of those things if you're not fully invested in it, then you probably won't do a good job. So mm. at this point in time, yeah, I'm going to sort of go down a few different paths and, and do something a bit different for, for 12 months, or, or who knows after that. But I'll stay involved in the game, I, I still love the game, yeah. um, but I'm just not too sure whether I'm cut out to be a coach. Mm. Yeah, now you've had a few coaches over your time at St Kilda, and <laughs> We all stare at the coaches and we look at them and we think they're slightly crazy, uh, a little bit not quite right. Have you ever found yourself looking at a coach and feeling sorry for them when they're just losing their minds? Oh, I've felt sorry for coaches over the last couple of years. When I mean, when the team's struggling, there's yeah. not much more the coach can do. Um, so I, I really do. And even seeing Brenton Sanderson, you know, a couple of weeks ago, without sort of knowing the goings on over at Adelaide, I... Mm. The, to me, there doesn't seem too much more that he could have done. You know, he's been dealt you know injuries and and mm. lost Kurt Tippett and things like that. So, mm. and he made a prelim in his first year. So, I mean, it's yeah. very cutthroat, <laughs> and you have to be a sort and sort of person to mm. to put your hand up to be a senior coach. And yeah, I think some of them are a little bit nutty. Yeah, now in, on grand uh, final day, Lenny, you get to ro- oh not Rome, you get to get in the back of a nice car, don't you? A little <laughs> bit of a tour of the MCG. Yeah, I hope I don't cop a hamburger in the head. From, uh, <laughs> from over the fence, are you looking but, forward to that? Because that's a hundred thousand. Plus, it'll be just yeah. gorgeous. Yeah, it will. I mean, I've been lucky enough to play on Grand Final Day, so I know the sort of atmosphere. And, and a couple of my mates um, retired last year, and Jason Blake and, and Cozzy, so I saw them on that day. They said it was a really good experience. Mm. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. And what about career highlights? Because I know you played in uh, three Grand Finals, um, yeah. but you didn't get over the line. No, so, are no. they highlights for you, or do you reflect on other moments as highlights? Oh no, they're certainly still highlights. I mean, the results weren't weren't great for us. Um, 
But just to be there and to be involved in grand final week, um, you know, there's a lot of other players that hardly play in finals, let alone grand finals. So to give ourselves an opportunity, you know, I always look back and and have fond memories of that week, not so much the end of the game. Um, (laughs) But, yeah, yeah, still still really proud of what we did as a team for a long period of time and to play in grand finals was was great. Mm. How how often do you think about those games? Probably not not often. I mean, initially after they happened, you'd, you'd sort of go over the game and, and you'd think what else you could have done and things like that. But so I move on pretty quickly. I, yeah. I think everyone's different, but I, certainly grand final day, the last sort of five or ten minutes, and then you know that a team's going to win. Mm. That's That sense of, I guess it's a little bit of jealousy and you know, yeah. gee, I wish that could have been us and our group and for our fans. Um, but apart from that, yeah, apart from probably grand final day, don't think about it too much. And grand final day, you'll do your uh, a lap around the oval then what what do you do after that do you, are you later to stay <laughs> yeah i think we there's a room set aside for for the guys who are retiring oh, um, so i go up and enjoy it. Mean to <laughs> yes. go jonathan and, uh, brown wow. still a medallion off brownie he's got enough to go around but <laughs> yeah. uh, it'll be good i mean you, you play against these guys for a long period of time so enjoy a few beers with yeah. them and be good after the game oh, and great. what about the big game how do you see it unfolding on saturday unfortunately for you mate, I think oh, the swans are, swans are gonna get it done I, yeah. we played them late in the year and look we didn't have much success against most sides this year, but Buddy was on fire that day. I think they're going to be hard to stop. Yeah. So you're tipping Sydney? I margin. To say, but margin. tipping Sydney, Lemo. Sydney by two goals, I think. Ooh. And would you, if you were the coach of the Hawthorne Football Club, would you play Cyril? Uh, I would. Yeah. yeah. Uh, there's certain guys that don't need a lot of footy under their belt to play. Stephen Baker was one for us. Missed 10 weeks, came in, played in the grand final, and you just trust what they're going to do. And I think Cyril's one of those. Well, mm. all I can say is this is the book of the year. You've got to get it. The football <laughs> book of the year. Lenny, my story, written by Lenny Hayes with someone else, <laughs> Jason Phelan. Um, <laughs> Lenny, so good to see you, and uh, have a lovely day on Saturday. Thanks, Bridge. Thanks, Lenny. Thanks, Lenny. Cheers.